What's up, Bass Babes? It's your girl Joy, back with another banger. Ah, I'm sorry about the little rant that I gave the other day, but it just weighed so heavily on my heart. I just had to get it out. You see my outfit today? I tell you, Instagram, you get me, child. This Instagram. The skirt, Instagram, they be getting me. And sometimes it's hit or miss, sometimes you get something good. And sometimes I'm like, that's not what I thought. Like I bought these little roll things, little jacket gowns. Mm-mm. No, they're not what I thought. They went right in the draw. I wear them around the house when I'm feeling like Marilyn Monroe and I'm feeling marvelous and like yes darling and where they're flowing around the house But I thought you know, I was gonna wear that with some cute little jeans or something mm -mm, It just wasn't doing it mm -mm. So be careful when you do the Instagram thing, honey be careful so I've come to the realization. I guess it didn't click for me mm -mm. Uh, Based on my last video um, I don't know, I guess I had an epiphany that I was making myself so upset and I was becoming a little discouraged because students weren't, not all, many, I'm like dozens upon dozens upon dozens, they don't turn in their work. I just don't, I, I still don't get it. And so I was making myself upset because they weren't doing what I expected as a teacher would so I'm getting upset but I have a like joy you're upset you have attitudes you know you want the best for the students but it's not crossing over to them wanting the best for themselves so I was like is it fair for you to have anxiety, to have that tension in your your chest and, you know, your spirit feels disrupted? Because at the end of the day, the only person I can control is, is who? Is a who? Is a who? Who? Right, 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 me. <laughs> so I just had to release and say, do your best, do the best, do the best, do the best that I can. And then once you do your best and you follow all the protocol, you gotta let it go. You gotta let it go because I'm getting upset because they're not doing what I want them to do. And the only person I can control is me. But at the end of the day, these kids are in school, you expect them to do the work. But I realized they don't want to do the work. They don't. They don't want to study. They don't want to put everything into their education or they want it easy. And I guess I never really saw it like that because my girls have always done their work. Or else they would have had me to deal with because then I, be I feel as though it becomes a, a parent. A parent issue. You know, so... Even my son, Clinton, the toughest one, it wasn't an option. He was a struggle, but I, as the parent, stayed on him like white and rice. Never once did I blame a teacher. Never once. And I realized also that a lot of the students don't, they lack problem solving skills. So um, one case in particular, uh, let's just say I give out uh, copies of something. I'm like, there are no other copies. You got to be responsible with the copies. And then someone lose a copy. Or I'll, or I'll look at somebody. I'll be like, what are you doing? They'll be like, oh, I lost it. Okay, so you're just going to sit there and do nothing? You, you're just going to sit there? Or I look over, what are you doing? I don't have a pencil. 15 minutes into the lesson, I don't have a pencil. So you just gonna sit there and do nothing and you see I'm writing stuff on a board? Ask a friend, ask a neighbor. Ask me. And you just sit there and do nothing. Or with the copies, some things I say there are no other copies. Problem solving skill, 
um, your friend, you got a lot of friends, you got friends in the class, take pictures. Everybody, most kids have a phone. Take pictures. You don't have a phone, your friend has a phone. Tell your friend to take pictures of whatever the document is, send it to your Gmail, go to the library, print it out. Problem solving skill. Not sit there and do nothing. Get creative. And I think that's part of life too. You, you gotta figure things out sometime. Cause baby, I've had to figure a lot of things out the hard way. And I think as parents, sometimes we make life so easy for children that they don't know how to problem solve on their own. And one thing I do like about my daughter's high school is that they push the kids to advocate for themselves. Stop having your parents do it. And of course, this is middle school because you, you still want your parents involved. But teach them to problem solve. You know, and that was the thing that I was worried about with my son. I feel like he was baby. I had to stay on him. Okay, I did. And it took him a while to learn how to figure things out. And when he was kicked out of the house because he wasn't doing anything, he learned to problem solve how to survive. And now I feel good in my heart that if I was to go tomorrow, all my kids know how to survive. Bobby, my middle child, not worried about her. Sydney, she's a hustler, not worried about her. Clinton, I was worried about him, but two years later, problem solves, knows how to, uh, knows how to survive. So I'm okay. But I think um, I notice in middle school, a lot of the kids don't problem solve because I think the parents um, do so much for the kids. I mean, which is fine, but we still have to teach them skills to learn how to do things on their own. So it just baffles me. Why are you just sitting there? I mean, I'm like, it's just, just baffling. So anyway, I have car ride at duty today, which is my favorite. I have it on Tuesdays because I love seeing the parents and the students. So I, I was running a little late today, late for me, whereas I only got here an hour early instead of an hour and a half early. So that's late for me. So I'm about to put out my cones and I know some of my students hate to see um, when Tuesday comes around because I lock my dough. Uh, yesterday it was about 20 kids up in here before school started because they let the kids in at eight. And so they have 25 minutes before the bell rings, so they come in here and hang out. Then they come in here, not all, not all 20. Then there's a, several students in here for lunch. Then somebody came, a teacher came in, she was like, don't you get a duty-free lunch? You know, just, and I was like, yeah, but you know, sometimes they don't, they don't, they don't bother me really. Um, then they just, they just like to be around me. <laughs> and, um, then after school, here they come after school. Here they come during school. Hey, Miss Dazzle. Hey, my, hey, pretty girl. So it's nonstop. But yesterday, I felt like I just needed five minutes. So I heated up my lunch and I stayed in the teacher's lounge and I left some of the kids in here. I just needed five minutes, five minutes of woosa. <laughs> So I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you don't get bored of all my teacher stuff. But this is my life right now. You know, with less kids at home. I'm always at school. By the time I get home, I'm tired. I'm tired, y'all. I really haven't been doing much at home. So I can see where you're like, oh, the vlogging. This is the bulk of my life. It's, it's the teaching thing now. So it is what it is. You know, if I have exciting content. I do have some other content. It's just... Ooh, sitting down to edit that stuff. Woo, baby. Mama's tired. All right, but thank you for hanging in there with me and loving me along my various journeys that you've been with me for. Some have been with me for several years, and I'm so blessed and thankful for that because you guys have become my family. And I'm waiting on to hear back from the doctor. They want me to have another... 
um, a double dose of an iron infusion and some other work. But I can feel with the anemia. I just feel tired. I have my highs where I'm energetic, but it's, I feel tired. And Saturdays, I really don't like to get out of the bed at all. I don't. I don't. I just want to rest. I just want to relax. And then Sunday starts my work day. All right. Let me go put out the cones so I'm early and lock my door. And I have to. And then I write on my door Tuesday duty so the girls know they don't know what to do with themselves when they can't come in here in the morning. <sighs> I still have the cough, which is terrible. Um, the doctor gave me the Z pack, and and it's you take so many pills, Oof. and it helped for a couple of days, maybe five, six days. The coughing subsided, but the coughing is back. As soon as I lie down at night, um, I start coughing, and then I try not to cough in class, but it slips out sometimes. <laughs> Or well, if I've been talking a lot, so yesterday I had to tell um, my para, I said, can you just finish reading the last few lines of that to the kids? I just couldn't do it. <clears throat> okay. All right, guys. I feel a cough wanting to come. I will check in with you later. Keep your head up. What did I say before? Stay up, keep your head up. I don't remember. All right, y'all. Bye, y'all.